In this video, we're going to talk about the Apollo Chrome extension because we're not always going to do our prospecting in the Apollo platform. So if we want to take Apollo with us, we get the extension. I'm just going to do a quick Google search for Apollo Chrome extension, and it's going to bring up this lovely result, Apollo IO, find B2B contact info for free. This will take me to the Chrome web store where I can see Apollo has great ratings, over 400,000 users. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit add to Chrome and add extension. Uh, this will take you straight to the knowledge base article about the Chrome extension. If you want to learn more about every little feature within the extension and how it works, I highly recommend you read this article in depth. Now that I have the extension installed, I am going to hop into LinkedIn, which is one of the places you'll get the most value from the Chrome extension, one of the most common use cases. You'll notice now there's this little yellow friend on the left-hand side of my screen. And when I click to expand it, this becomes uh, a, a bigger tab. So when I go to somebody's uh, profile, like my buddy Dan, who works at Apollo, this is gonna pull up Dan's information and a bunch of information about his company. It'll show me what the company does, uh, how many employees there are, their services that they offer, and along the bottom, a whole lot more. All of this is available in the Apollo platform, but it's also available in the extension. So I can see what software they use, when they got funding, if they were a startup, who they're hiring right now, who else works there, a lot of really valuable information, as well as any activities that I have associated here or any tasks that I have uh, that need to happen in LinkedIn. So for now, I'm going to go back into the Apollo platform to start adding people to a sequence. But if you're in LinkedIn and you're doing prospecting and you're searching for people, uh, like let's say Akash or whomever, you don't have to go straight into Apollo uh, to, to work this lead. You can find them on LinkedIn, you can add them to a sequence, you can try and get their mobile number, you can do a lot of that work you would otherwise do in Apollo straight from the Chrome extension. The other thing I wanna talk about with the Chrome extension is something that I really enjoy. It's called Apollo Everywhere. So you're not always going to be in LinkedIn. Um, sometimes you're going to be out cruising the web or you're going to go from LinkedIn to somebody's website. In this case, let's pretend that I'm heading over to the Oracle site. Now, if I enable in the Chrome extension, if I go in here, uh, if I enable this little tab that says Apollo everywhere, it gives me the opportunity when I'm on somebody's website to pull up the Chrome extension and see a bunch of information about that company. I can see whatever insights we have available, technologies, hiring, funding, and any employees who work there as well. So if I'm in my normal course of business, you know, maybe I find a, an account that I'm really interested in on LinkedIn or from Apollo, I can just go to the website, pull up the Chrome extension. Now I can look for who I'm trying to sell to. Let's say in this example, it's VP of marketing and I can find them right here. I don't even have to go into the Apollo platform if I don't want to, though it can't take me straight to it. I can just go straight from the Chrome extension and I can add them to a sequence. It's that easy, it's that straightforward, and that's one of the reasons I love the Apollo Chrome extension. All right, so we just covered how to use the Apollo Chrome extension to do your prospecting and to initiate people into a sequence from wherever you are on the internet. Hope it was helpful. Now we're gonna be on to the next video.